Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about conditioning, monitoring and fault diagnosis. Now we have already studied about the bathtub curve in earlier classes and what it shows that if we plot a graph between the failure or the probability of failure of any product with time, we see that initially in the you know initial running period of the product the deterioration is there or failure rates are very high but they tend to increase in certain time and the useful normal uh, or the operating period of the uh, product usually the failure rates are very constant and they are low again we see that after using the product for uh, the described time period what happens? The aging starts. The period, the uh, product, it starts wearing out, and thus the failure rate it increases in the third part, which is the wear out period. So it means that whenever we are designing any product, the design should be done properly, because we want the machine to survive more, and the survival depends. The one important factor is that the vibrations should be less, right? But what happens with the time, with the operating hours of the machine, it is subjected to many factors like the failures are there, deformation is there, some parts they wear out, some cracks are there, misalignment or unbalances or gaps between the parts. So there are n number of factors which can increase the vibration in the system. And as the level of vibration increases, the chances of the breakdown of the machine also increases. Right, so there uh, may be many reasons for the you know increase in vibrations. There may be the faulty components. There may be some loose parts. The misalignment is there. The unbalanced components. So all these things may lead to what? They may lead to increased level of vibrations. Now we have already talked about the bathtub curve. So we also know that vibrations they also follow this type of curve. That means initially what happens the chances of vibration increment is at the beginning of the life of the product because after designing when we first start using the product so the chances of vibrations are high once that time duration is passed on and the product come to its normal working life the chances of vibrations are less because machine is in good condition but after using it for certain time or for certain years, depending upon the machine, what happens? It's wearing start and thus the vibrations also increase because when we keep on using the machines, a lot of faults or maybe because of fatigue as we already discussed or maybe because of wear or cracks, a number of reasons, a number of factors that get introduced into the machine with time duration, the chances of vibration or the failure also increases during the aging period. So what we need to do, we need to maintain the machine, right? The maintenance has to be done. The monitoring has to be done. So there are basically three ways of maintenance of the system. The three ways are the breakdown maintenance, right? The second one is the preventive maintenance. And the third one is the conditioning or the condition maintenance. So what is breakdown maintenance as the name suggests? If there is any fault in the machine, it breaks down. So what we do, we can simply replace that particular component with a new component. Now this is a case which uh, we can afford when the breakdown is not causing much damage and the part is also inexpensive. So it's quite easy that okay we are not taking into account that why the system is failing we see that system fails we get a new one and we replace the damaged part the second type of uh, maintenance is the preventive maintenance so what happens we decide some fixed duration some working hours or some operating hours or maybe years so on the basis of that after that particular fixed time duration the product or the components are changed with the new components because we do not want any breakdown or failure so what happens we are doing we are replacing the old 
old component with a new component on the basis of some study we say that okay after this particular duration this component should be replaced so what exactly is happening this method is quite uneconomical because there may be chances or there may be cases when we are replacing a component with a new component even though it is in good condition because the preventive maintenance says that after this this operating conditions or after this this operating working hours the component should be replaced with a new one so this is not always the best way to uh, reduce the errors or to make the system more effective so the best way of maintenance is the condition maintenance or for which we have to do the condition monitoring now what is this condition monitor monitoring or the condition maintenance in this what we do instead of fixed time duration intervals we keep the fixed interval measurements we study the machine we study its running condition and what we do after certain duration of time instead of replacing the component we study the factors we measure the running condition of the machine we observe those values right and what exactly happens is that by observing those values we can find that there are chances of some faulty conditions that means some faulty condition has started appearing in the system and on the basis of observations we can predict okay that this the service is required so what happens the cost is reduced because we are first monitoring we are first conditioning the system we are first studying the system we are saying that okay these are the uh, features that should be taken into account we study them and if we see some fault in those uh, conditions we try to do the maintenance as per the requirement so this condition monitoring and fault diagnosis basically is quite an efficient method because it reduces the cost we are not unnecessarily uh, replacing any component with a new component and it also increases the productivity plus ensures the safety of the people and equipment because at certain durations we are measuring the running conditions so even if there are there is some onset of failure or or if there is some onset of any unwanted or undesirable feature in the system we can then and there only take some measures and stop it amend it so that that problem is not carried on further so this diagram shows the condition based maintenance where what we are doing is if we plot a graph between the vibration level which is the giving the probability of failure of the machine with time what we are doing so this after certain duration of time we uh, know that machine uh, needs the measurements so we start with the condition based maintenance so condition based maintenance is what if the condition requires maintenance then only we are doing maintenance right and after that the periodic condition measurements are being done so periodically after fixed uh, some fixed duration of time we are measuring the uh, running conditions and where what we do is because we know we are following the bat up curve so we know that after certain duration of time because of more fatigue more wear more cracks so or maybe other uh, increased working hours of the machine we know that the chances of failure increases so the frequency of measurements here you can see the frequency of measurements also increased to reduce or to uh, take the breakdown level of the machine to the farthest point as possible so this what happens if the breakdown is taking place at certain point so we can always reduce we can always stop being uh, at that point where the breakdown occurs if we are following this condition based maintenance if this maintenance is not being done of course the breakdown of machine will take place at certain time period so the conditioning or the monitoring of the running conditions of any machine or a system can be done in various ways the first one is a oral method that means in which we can hear the noise 
so lot of people there are a lot of instruments microphones are there stroboscope is there and lot of people the experienced ones they can just by hearing the noise of the machine or hearing the noise of the uh, you know components they can depict or they can predict that okay there is some problem with the machine there are the visual methods just by looking at the working conditions maybe uh, one can use magnifying glass or stroboscope to visually monitor the working conditions of the machine or the system so in case the current or voltage monitoring can also be done uh, with for electrical devices then temperature monitoring is done we can measure the temperature of uh, by like you know operational surface temperatures are there so if there is some rapid increase in temperature so it can indicate lot of things that there may be some wear or uh, absence of uh, you know proper lubrication conditions may be there so for measuring temperatures we can use optical pyrometers or uh, thermocouples resistance thermometers and many other components or many other instruments are available then the operational variables there may be some cracks in the system so we can use the dye penetrating testing or different methods to understand that what all problem is there in the operational variables then wear debris when the system uh, keeps on wearing the debris it gets collected in the system so that also needs to be conditioned that also needs to be taken into account now one of the most important of them is the vibration now vibration is caused when there is cyclic excitation in the system the reasons may be a number of reasons can be there the imbalance wear or the failure of some parts or some faulty designs lot of uh, you know conditions or reasons are there so what we have to do by using all the instrument by using all the means and measures we have to detect the condition of the machine the running machine by using all these techniques so when we are talking about the machine vibrations there are two methods there are a number of methods but here we are discussing only two methods first one is the time domain method in which we are uh, measuring the time history of the signals and these signals they are stored or they are noted down or they may be it can be in the form of the patterns so if there is any change in the fixed pattern so we can identify any unbalance or failures or misalignment in the system and that can be fixed the frequency domain in that case what exactly is done the plot is being uh, created for amplitude uh, of the vibration and the frequency so as long as the excitation forces are constant vibration levels they remain constant even if there is small change or uh, some unwanted factor is being introduced in the system what happens the frequency also changes so with uh, by studying the plot one can find or one can understand that there is some issue with the system so the instruments used for measurement of the vibrations they are of three types the first one is the basic one so in the basic instruments used for measuring vibrations there are basically three components a small pocket size vibration meter so that meter can measure the overall vibrations of the system then there is a stroboscope which measures the speed of the machine and there is a headset so the idea of headset is uh, the experienced operators or the experienced people they can just by hearing the sound of the machine they can find or they can tell that there is certain fault with the system the portable type of instrumentation as the name suggests it can be carried and it is a very fast fourier transform vibration analyzer so it is based it is basically power back right it has it is run on battery and it is also used for the fault detection and the values that are being recorded those values they can be compared with the ref reference values to find out what all fault is there in the system and if the portable one is added with a computer so that becomes the computer based system where we can also store the data for future analysis and study so the op basically uh, the operational variable method is that we are observing the performance of the machine 
and we are comparing it with the desired values and if there is any deviation from the performance of the machine we can know that okay there is certain malfunction in the machine which needs to be fixed and according to that the monitoring and the diagnosis and the proper steps can be taken so with the progress with uh, more scientific uh, and human society progress the accidents are more unexpected because the machines are now more complex therefore the safety problems their testing monitoring and measurements are very important in order to prevent accidents or any sort of loss or damage to person or the property therefore this method of conditioning monitoring is quite effective and it also saves the money or unnecessary wastage of material